A Hampton Roads health system is tackling violence in the workplace. Data suggests it's a growing trend within healthcare facilities. And it's causing concern from medical workers and patients. Casey Baylor shares the efforts hoping to reduce the risk. A visit to the hospital might be one of the last places you'd expect to see violence. Right on assaults, visitors that have assaulted our employees. But hospital staff and patients aren't immune. A few years ago, we actually had a back-to-back -back bomb threat. One of the incidents, the same employee received that call. Those moments within the Chesapeake Regional Healthcare System sparked this annual workplace violence prevention fair filled with resources like de-escalation tactics and safety tips. Healthcare workers face a much higher risk of workplace violence than professionals in any other industry. In fact, five times greater risk. Julian Walker with the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association says federal data shows the COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated this violence. This violence can take a mental toll on staff and he says it impacts access to patient care. The security staff, the other clinical staff have to rush in to intervene and what that does is it diverts resources that might otherwise go to patient care. Walker says it's all about educating the public that this violence exists. He says this fair along along with the VHHA's Help Us Help You campaign, draws attention to these experiences. In Chesapeake, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. On the federal level, lawmakers introduced a bill that would enhance legal protections for medical staff facing assault or intimidation.